Let's solve problem three from your chapter 12 homework. Looking at the worksheet, we should probably add a column between E and F. So I'm going to click the F column header, right click, and choose insert. And in column F, I'm going to type tickets demanded. Now we're told that for each seating zone, the tickets demanded is normally distributed, and I've input the mean and standard deviation for each seating zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the formula for the tickets demanded equals norm dot inv and open the parentheses. Now notice with the norm dot inv, first it asks for a probability and then a mean and then a standard deviation. So for the probability, I'm going to type rand open the parentheses and close the parentheses so it's going to give me a random probability between 0 and 1. I'm going to type a comma then I'm going to click on the mean demand for the first level sideline then I'm going to type a comma and I'm going to click on the standard deviation for the first level sideline. Now I'm going to close my parentheses hit enter and copy the formula down to row 6. But now the tickets demanded is not going to be the same as the tickets sold. If the tickets demanded are less than the seats available, so in the case of the first level sideline, the tickets demanded are 14,546, but the available seats are 15,000, we're going to take the smaller number, the tickets demanded. But if the seats available are smaller, so in case of the first level end zone, notice the seats available are 10,000, but the seats demanded are 10,220, we're still going to go with the smaller number, but this time the smaller number is the seats available. So to calculate the ticket sold, we're just going to calculate the minimum of either the seats available or the tickets demanded. So equals MIN, open the parentheses, seats available, comma, tickets demanded. Close the parentheses, hit enter, and double click the fill handle to copy it down for all of the seating zones. Now to calculate the total revenue, all we have to do is take the ticket price and multiply it by the ticket sold. Hit enter, click on cell H2, double click the fill handle to copy that all the way down and now to calculate the total revenue from all of the seating zones, we're going to click in cell H7. Either click the Auto Sum button on your Home Toolbar, or just type equals SUM, open the parentheses, click on the revenue for all of the seating zones, select the revenue from all of the seating zones, close up your parentheses, and hit enter. Now to create the data table. The homework problem tells us to do 50 trials of the total revenue. So down here in cell A9 I'm going to type the word trial and then I'm going to fill the numbers 1 to 50 down column A starting at A10. So I'll type the number 1, I'll type the number 2, select both the 1 and 2, and then use the fill handle to fill the numbers. Oh, I went a little too far. Down to 50. Now for my one-way data table, I was told in the problem to summarize total revenue. So in cell B9, the header for my data table, 
I'm going to type an equal sign and then click on the formula that has the total revenue, H7. So that way I'm going to have 50 different trials of the total revenue. So I'm going to hit enter to accept that formula. Now I'm going to select the data table that I just created. So I'm going to select the range from A9 all the way down to B59. I'm going to click the data tab inside the forecast group. I'm going to click what if analysis and then I am going to click data table. Now because all I want to do is 50 random trials, I'm going to click in the column input cell and then I'm just going to click any blank cell within the worksheet. So just randomly I'm going to click cell D10 which is a blank cell. So all I'm going to do is tell Excel basically to hit F9 50 times and to note the total revenue each time it redoes the calculation. So I'm going to click OK. And now I have 50 different trials of revenue. To be able to see the revenue a little bit clearer, I'm going to select that range, click Home, and within the number group, just click the comma style icon. So I can now see that my revenue looks like it runs around three to four million dollars and now I'm told to create a histogram. So to create a histogram, it, the best way to create a histogram is to use bins. So for my bins I'm going to start at three million, then I'm going to have another bin at 3.5 million, another bin at four million, another bin at 4,500,000 and the final bin at 5 million. So I'm going to click data. I'm going to click data analysis. You may have to add that. We've gone through that many times, how to add the data analysis tool. I'll show you how to do it at the end of the video. So under the data analysis tool, I'm going to click histogram and I'm going to click OK. For my input range, I'm going to do my 50 trials. I'm not going to include the header. So I'm going to start at B10 in my input range all the way down to B59. Do not click the labels box, otherwise it'll only do 49 trials. It won't include the first one. And now for the bin range, I'm going to click in the bin range and scroll up. And I'm going to use the bin range that I just input. For the output range, I'm going to accept the default for new uh, worksheet. And I'm also going to click chart output. So I'm going to click OK. And I can now see here my histogram. It gave me the bin and the frequency. And I also have a histogram chart making it larger. So I can see that most of my observations are around 4.5 million. I have a few around 4 million and I have a few around 5 million. If you click data and you don't see the data analysis tool in your analyze group or you don't see the analyze group, click file and then click options. Under Excel options, you're going to click add ins on the left hand side and then on the bottom next to manage Excel add-ins, just click go. You see here the add-ins that are available. So if your analysis tool pack, if you don't see data analysis, just check the analysis tool pack. And if you want the solver, just check the solver box and then click OK. 
and the data analysis tool should then be visible in the data tab, the data ribbon.